growing up, did you have any struggle growing up? So I feel like my parents were very intentional about the way that we were raised mm. to the point where I, I I didn't have to work, but I started working. What informed that name, Grass and Coffee? It was a random conversation with Uncle Baz in Good Hair, our small shop then. We are just just thinking, it was like, look, are you telling me to do restaurant? You do it yourself. And that's actually how Brass and Coffee came about. Wow. No, it's zero experience. <laughs> uh, we're making mistakes on the go every on single go. day. You are a philanthropist and that it's very good. So what actually motivated you into going, you know, that route? I feel like my foundation, my charity is something that was inevitable in my life, you know, but it wasn't something that I decided or oh, I wanted to have or I was going to have. And my partner at the time who had sickle cell, you know, and he would always be in hospital and would have to go there and he would be crying, I'd be crying. Oh, really? Yeah, it was really, really bad. And I didn't really understand what sickle cell was because I don't really feel like wow. people are educated enough you know as mm. to how bad it can yeah. be oh. i all i knew was like obviously genetics a a a s m you learn it in school they do that whole cross mm -hmm. thing and it's like oh don't have ss but they don't really explain to you why it's you, you really should not have a child that is ss because mm -hmm. aside from the fact that sometimes it could lead to untimely death it's so painful you know it's pain mm. that is actually physically unbearable for a human being mm. so for me i was like how can somebody with so much just potential in life ever have to be subject to this you know mm. and so going into these rural areas you know, educating people, raising awareness, would go in with flyers and like medicine and all these different things. I was like, whoa, sickle cell is literally like the least of, you know, mm -hmm. their worries in here. It's not just about sickle cell. There's so much poverty, there's lack of education. It was just so horrible. The housing, mm -hmm. you know, situations, the health situations. I was like, no, 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 I could do a lot more.